All right, hello everybody. Today we're gonna to go through how to set up our grade books for the beginning of the year or beginning of semester. Um, so once you log into Infinite Campus, you're just gonna obviously wanna make sure you go to instruction. And then once you get to instruction, you're gonna to wanna to go to your grade book because this is where we're gonna actually like set up our grade book and make sure that it's good to go. So when you're in your grade book, um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your task is set to grade book and then you can pick whichever class you want to set it up for. Um, and we can kind of do some of this bulk, but just for now, I'm going to hit my orientation to teaching class. So my orientation to teaching class is actually going to have categories. So the first thing that you want to do before you actually set up your gradebook is you want to establish what kind of categories you're going to be working with. So in order to do that, I don't know if you saw, but I just hit this settings button. So if you don't see this panel, just hit that settings button and it'll open the settings panel for you. Now here under the gradebook and setup, we're going to hit this categories button because this is where we're going to set up like our gradebook categories. Like if you, you know, set, you know, 30% homework, 30% tests and quizzes, 30% projects, something like that. But we all have to make sure we establish categories because our semester tests do count for 10% of the grade. So that would be considered a category. So even if you do just do like a points based system, you still need to set up a category in the gradebook. So the way that we're going to do this is you just are supposed to select which section you want to establish the category for. Um, however, once you hit any of these sections, you're going to see, and I'm kind of blocking it here, I'm going to move myself over, but you're going to see that you can hit this add. When you hit add, it'll show you all of your classes. Okay, so you really only need to establish a category once for all of your classes. Um, and then you should be good to go. So I am going to establish a finals category or like semester test, I guess I'll call it semester test. Now, in theory, every single one of your classes should have a semester test that's weighted at 10%. Okay, and the weight is just the percentage you want it weighted. So we would just do 10 for the weight. And then if you want to hit all of your classes, and this would be for first and second semester, then you would just click this button at the top and then we want to hit the wait after we do that. And then it'll put 10 into all of that. So then every single one of your classes will have a category called semester test that will be weighted at 10%. Now, um, mine is just a little bit unique because I have tutoring and they don't actually take a final. So, so I actually can't do that for all of my classes. So I'm going to undo this for mine um, and I'm just going to check my orientation to teaching class and then I will weight that semester test at 10% for them. So once you have the category selected and you have the appropriate weight for all of the classes that you want it for, then you just hit save. And then you'll see that that category has been created. Now, um, your category weights uh, for any given class obviously have to equal 100 um, because we want 100% of grades to be accounted for. So you can continue to just add different categories for whatever you want. Um, if you want the category where you just have, you know, like daily work, slash test slash projects whatever it is or labs if you're science um, you can do something like that just select your sections and weight it at 90 percent okay because then you'll have basically a points-based grade book where you'll just have that semester test with the 10 percent weight and then everything else will just be on a points-based system um, however i do weighted categories so like my daily work is not worth as much as um as my other categories. So I would want my daily work just for my orientation class to maybe be worth, you know, like 20% of their grade. And then I can save that and then it'll show up here. Now, if you ever accidentally add something um, and then you realize that you want to change it, you can absolutely change it. Not a big deal. Um, all you would do is you would click on the category. So maybe I changed my mind and I want my daily work to only be worth 10% of their overall score in the class, or maybe I want it to be worth more and 30. I can just click on it and then you can just go in and change it um, like normal. So maybe I wanted all of my classes to, you know, have a weight of 30%. I can just change it like that. But don't. <laughs> so I'm going to unclick it. Um, and then that's the way you can just kind of like edit that. So 30% maybe, and then save it. And then it'll update and you'll see the weighted update there. So you want to make sure that you add enough categories for all of your classes to be at that 100 per percent mark. And then you'll just close that. 
Okay, so that's adding categories. Now, once you've added the categories, you need to change the grade calc options. So this is the way that we tell Infinite Campus how to calculate the grades for your class. So you'll want to open that. And then it'll just kind of give you this like little information. Just hit continue. Okay, now um, we want to change our grade book. So you'll see spring grade book. Okay, we want to change this to an in progress grade. And then we and this should technically say fall for you guys. I My only class is in the spring, which is why it's a spring. Okay, but it should say fall. Um, so you'll want to change that to in progress. And then your grading scale, you want to make it the high school scale. And we want to check the weight categories because we set up those categories to establish weighted grades. So just make sure you do those things for all of your classes. Okay, you are going to have to go into each of your individual classes to do this part. Establishing the categories, you can kind of do all at the same time, but you will have to go into the grade calc and calculate your grades for every single class. So once you've changed those things, type to in progress, grading scale to high school, check the weight button, then just hit save. And then your grade book will be um, set up correctly. And then one final thing that I like um, is the pass fail color settings. So these are really nice because you can have that visual of if a student's passing or failing. If the um, score for the assignment is a passing grade, it'll be green. If it's a failing grade, it'll be red. Or if you mark it as missing, it'll be red as well. So I always like to turn those on, turn those on, make sure they are on. And then I like to mute it because it can get a little bit <laughs> a little bit wild when you have it um, unmuted. So you guys can feel free to change that as well. If you um, mess something up or you're super confused or your grade book ends up not working at the beginning of the school year, reach out to me and I can um, come and help you make sure that we have it all set up correctly. Hope this helps. Email me if you have questions.